Hi everyone and welcome to Bill Day here at KPL. My name is Keith and firstly I just wanted to go through a few of the parts that we'll be using uh, for today's build. We will be giving this away uh, at the end so make sure you uh, comment, rate and subscribe the video and uh, we'll leave some uh, stuff in the description on how you can enter. Uh, first off we're going to go with uh, the CIT uh, Micro ATX case. Uh, it comes with the two USB 2.0s on the front and a couple of audio headers there as well. We're using a 320 gigabyte hard drive, um, Western Digital. Uh, we're going with the Azrock N68C GSFX, a 500 watt Cooler Master Power Supply, and an AMD Sempron uh, processor. It's the 145 2.8 gigahertz, uh, one megabyte of total crash aid. It's only a single core, but we will be unlocking the second core with the UCC feature that comes with the uh, Azrock BIOS. Uh, and we will be un un uh, overclocking it as well, maybe to around 3 gigahertz, hopefully, uh, if not more. Uh, so let's get on with the build. Okay, so as you can see, I've already gone ahead. Uh, I've installed the heatsink and I've installed the CPU. Uh, just a quick tip on the, the CPU, make sure you don't touch the top of it or underneath it, hold it from the sides. And then you line up in the bottom left-hand corner here, there is a, um, there's like a little gold triangle on the, on the uh, CPU and there's a triangle on the um, socket itself and you just line those up and you drop it in you don't touch it after that and then you just drop down the uh, heat uh, drop down the ZIF socket lever uh, and that will secure the CPU in place we just need to now install the RAM uh, as you can see DDR3 and there's DDR2 in the yellow and the DDR3 is the blue we're just going to install the RAM now and you need to make sure you line up see the little notch there you need to line that up with uh, you need to line it up try not to I'm doing this with one hand so sorry about that and you just drop it in go and then you just push down either side one side down two side down and that's in place uh, now we're going to want to uh, test it out of the box uh, the reason why we test it I test it outside of the um, case is because obviously if anything goes wrong you don't want to build it all first then test it for the first time into boot and it doesn't work then you have to undo it all again and find out what the problem was so we're going to go ahead and, and plug the power in 24 pin and we'll just plug that in there we go, that's in place now. And we want to plug in the power for the CPU, four pin, and that just goes just in there. Push that down, that's in place. And then I wanted to connect up the hard drive as well because I want to boot into BIOS. So I'm just going to quickly connect that up and then we'll, uh, we'll boot into BIOS. Okay, so I've now plugged in the uh, hard drive. As you can see, the data cable is connected and it's, it's in the port here as well and I've connected the power cable as well uh, to run the hard drive and now we just want to boot into BIOS just so that we know the motherboard's working and the parts that we've plugged in are, are all fine so I've already gone ahead and plugged in the um, power switch so uh, we'll just hit the button on the front and yep the fans are spinning and we just wait for the screen now and it should come up into, yep, there we go, it's booting. That's perfect, that's what we want. Uh, now we're going to put it into the case uh, and we'll carry on with the build. Okay, so I've gone ahead and installed the uh, power supply. It sits in the top of the case there and it's secured with four screws on the back. And I've already gone ahead and installed the um, standoffs for the motherboard. There are six in total. One, two three, four, three, four, and then five and six. And now we just need to place the motherboard in. So we'll just slowly lower it in. And line it up. And then now I need to install the screws. Uh, so I'll install the screws and then we'll come back. Okay, so the 
standoff screws are now in. You can see there's one, there's two, three, four, five, and six. We're now going to uh, plug in the um, USB headers on the front and the two audio, as well as the um, reset switch, the hard drive LED switch, and the power switch. So the first one is the hard drive audio just there and if you see on the bottom there you can see there's a there's like a missing pin there's no hole there and you need to line that up with corresponding with the the one in the back in the corner here so we'll we'll just plug that in and there we go that's it plugged in and then the same for the front we need to plug in the USB and you can see the missing pin there as well and that corresponds with a missing pin at the bottom of the header you just see here and we'll push that in and that's done uh, next we need to do the hard drive and the power switch uh, line those up and they go just here one at the bottom next to it there we go and the next one is the power switch just there and that goes above the hard drive uh, above the uh, power switch uh, above the reset switch sorry and that just goes in there and there we go you can see those just just in there and they're all in and ready so now we'll uh, Plugging the CPU power, just this one here, and that goes in the top here. Push it down and wait for the click. Push that out of the way for now. Uh, now we're going to install the optical drive and the hard drive, uh, and then we'll plug in all the power, uh, and uh, we'll see if it runs again. Okay, so now we've uh, we've plugged in the optical drive. Just just there and then the hard drive just below it and they just just secured by two screws there two on the back and the same for the hard drive and now we need to plug in the power for both of them uh, which is just one of these SATA power connectors here and we'll plug one in at the top one at the bottom So one goes here, and the other one just below, and then now we need to plug in the data cables as well, so we'll plug one in for the hard drive. Okay, so now we need to install the second data cable for the optical drive, and that one goes just below the um, hard drive. So I'll just plug that in there, and then we need to plug it into the top next to the power on the optical drive here. There we go, and now we need to plug in the power the motherboard which will go just there there we go and it just goes just in there so I am doing this with one hand so And there we go, and the power's in. Uh, now we need to just do a little bit of cable management, uh, tidy it up, uh, and then we'll do a boot. Okay, so we've uh, tidied up as best we can. Uh, this case is not really that good for um, cable management, but we've managed to tuck most of it away. 
and we've plugged in the back fan as well, uh, the, the exhaust fan, so everything's spinning okay. And we've booted into BIOS, uh, as you can see, and we'll just zoom in, you can see it's an AMD processor, 64-bit, and it's a 2.8 gigahertz uh, processor. So now we're going to unlock the second core, so you want to head up to OCC Tweaker, and then down to uh, ASRock UCC and hit enter, enable it, hit enter again and then head up to the top here and we want to change this, this CPU frequency to 250 done hit F10 to save it save configuration changes and exit click OK it'll now reboot Just waiting for it to reboot now and we'll head back into press F2 and then zoom in you now have an AMD Athlon 2x2 processor and a 3.5 gigahertz dual core processor I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, please comment rate and subscribe and we'll be releasing details shortly on how you can uh, win this uh, PC uh, we'll also be installing Ubuntu as well so um, yeah, please comment, rate and subscribe. I hope you like it. Please leave comments in the comment section and uh, stay tuned and we'll give you some details on how you can win this. Thanks for now and see you soon. Bye-bye.